Hello, this is going to be a demonstration of the cardiac analysis application using Vitria. First step I'm going to do is I'm going to select my patient. I'm going to come down to the Applications tab, select Cardiac Analysis, and I'm going to select my three phases that are thin sliced images that I'm going to use for the evaluation. Then I'm going to select Open. Vitria is going to go through and process and try to probe LAD, CERC, and RCA for you. Once that's done, you will have a curved planar viewport at the bottom right of your 3D layout. Now we loaded in three phases. The three different phases are going to be located in the upper right hand corner. You can toggle through. The different phases to see which one might have the better image, least amount of motion, the one you want to look at to investigate. You can look at different vessels in different phases for better evaluation. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and start looking through my axial image just to get kind of an overview. And then I want to start doing vessel analysis. You can go full screen on any viewport. I'm going to double click on my axial to go full screen. I have my curve planar reformat on the right hand side, my large axial data set, and three smaller transaxial slices. Those transaxial slices correspond to where this blue hash on the curved planar intersect that specific vessel. Now this is a little bit small to see. To enlarge this, at the top of the viewport, you have a minus, a plus, and a little squiggly line or lightning bolt. If you click that, that's going to enlarge the CPR to fit the screen. On the left hand side of the screen is showing you which vessel we are currently looking at. We have the LAD, the RCA, and the CERC. I'm currently going to look at the LAD. I can rotate around that vessel 360 degrees by the slide bar located at the bottom. If I want to do a vessel analysis, there's a couple of things I need to check. The first thing I need to check is the center line that Vitria selected for me. To do that, I'm going to right click and select Edit Center Line. That will then pull up a green center line that was utilized to probe this vessel. If I need to change anything, I can single left click points to edit that line. I can put as many points as I want. If I need to fine tune a point, if I hover over one, I can left click and drag. I want to make sure that's not touching that calcification there and that my little point is going down the center of the vessel lumen. When I am happy with my point placement, I'm going to come down to the bottom and select Apply. That's going to edit that line. The next thing I need to do for a vessel analysis is I need to right click and edit the contours, which is our second option. This is going to give us a bunch of transaxial slices and contours that have been pre-selected. I have what I call a little slinky on my curve planar reformat, and I can left click and drag this above and below as needed. Now, these are kind of big gaps. Each little space corresponds to a slice on the left-hand side. I don't need that big of a area, so I'm going to come down and I'm going to change my spacing to one millimeter. 
I'm then going to grab my little slinky and put that near those two calcified sections. If I need to edit my contours, I'm going to come over to the left hand side under Vessel Analysis and I'm going to uncheck the vessel wall because I want to edit the contours of the vessel lumen. I'm going to come to my first slice that needs to be edited and I'm going to left click and draw a new circle. Now with this particular tool, you do not have to draw on every single slice. You can actually skip a couple slices and hit apply and that will interpolate the two in between. Once you're happy with your contours, you can hit close. And now I want to do a lesion analysis. Under the vessel analysis section, there is an option labeled single. I'm going to select single tool. I'm going to come to my curve planar reformat, left click and drag kind of above and below those lesions. Vitria is going to determine the narrowest slice between my beginning and end points. It is also going to give you a reference vessel to be able to compare. Now, this reference vessel is just set predetermined above where I begin my analysis. If you don't agree with that or you would like to move this, you can left click and drag your reference vessel to where you consider normal vessel. Once you get that in place directly below, that will give you the quantification between your reference vessel and your narrowest vessel. If I'm done with the LAD, and I want to move on to a different vessel, I can come over to my vessel management section and select the RCA. I'm going to come back, hit my little squiggly line, and I'm going to rotate that around. You might want to check the other phases to see if one is better than the other. Now, if we look at this particular phase, the RCA did not track as far as it did on the other two vessels. You could investigate the RCA in a different vessel in that circumstance, or we can go through and check to see where Vitria stopped. And then if need be, we can also extend that vessel. A good way to determine if anything has been included or excluded is to come over to the anatomy management file and under vessels, there's a box directly next to it labeled tent NPR. If you select the tent NPR, this will allow us to do a couple of things. It will allow us to either add on an additional vessel that Vitria didn't pre-process, or we can extend a vessel as well. So if I scroll up and down, anything that is this reddish pink has been vessel probed by Vitria. Anything that is not, has not been probed. I can see some of my diagonals have not been selected because they're not this reddish pink. I can scroll through, follow my RCA, and see it kind of stops right here in the middle. If I would like to go ahead and extend that vessel, under Vessel Analysis, there is a button labeled Extend. I'm going to select that and I am going to click on my 2D image where I would like that to extend to. If you notice now that has been 
The color has changed, so that has been added. I can continue to follow that down. and add on to that vessel as needed. The other option to add on an additional vessel is the button directly next to it, which is the select tool. If I would like to investigate a diagonal, I can find it on my axial image and I can single left click on it. That's gonna generate a curved planar reformat of that specific vessel. I can rotate that around and look at that as well. If you would like to label that, you can come over to the left hand side where it says vessel 10. I can double click and you have the option to free text or you have options directly below it. I'm just going to name it a diag and select OK. Now that will be labeled for me under the vessel management section. I'm going to turn off the vessel tint and just to demonstrate some of the additional layouts that you have available to you. I'm going to switch to the LAD. This is a three box layout. You have different layouts at the very top of the screen. This is a large transaxial slice. The next is kind of like a simulated cath type view showing the LAD. And then you have a matrix with transaxial slices. The last option is a reverse C, which will give you your center point, and then it will give you slices millimeters above and millimeters below. Toggle it one more time and we're back to the standard layout. I'm going to double click and come back out of full screen. For some additional analysis, if I want to do any type of manual analysis, I'm going to turn my crosshair back on, on the toolbar. This brings up our blue, green, and red line. All those correspond in the different viewports. I can scroll through, and with my triangulation device, I can left click on a specific area. One side of the mount, the line, gives you a circle and a double arrow where you can kind of rotate to get a oblique type image. The opposite side of the line has an hourglass. The hourglass, if you drag that apart, will thicken your image. To know exactly how thick that image is, down at the bottom right, it will tell you how thick that image is. You can also single left click on that to have a set of presets, or you can select back to native thickness quickly. If I'm parallel with my LED and my axial viewport, I can then do a double oblique and come up to my coronal to kind of straighten that vessel out. That will also give me a transaxial image in my sagittal plane. Something that, that can be useful is sometimes I like to close the crosshair. If you hit H on the keyboard twice, that will close that crosshair and show you exactly where you're at. You can toggle that on and off to look at the vessel as needed. If you were done with your vessel analysis and you kind of want just a good 3D overview, I would select to turn off show vessel. That's just going to give me a 3D image. 
I'm going to go full screen, right click, and rotate to allow you to investigate our 3D heart. If the heart is kind of in the way and you only want to see the vessels that have been pre-selected, uncheck heart under the anatomy management file. This will give us just the vessels that have been selected. If this is something you would like to create a batch or save an image, I like to zoom this in by rolling the mouse wheel, kind of just fit it to screen. In the upper left hand corner, I can select batch. I'm going to do a full 360 degree rotation. The globe and the check mark directly next to it shows you the direction of turn. I can select the degree of spin or the number of images. If I want to change the number of images, you have a slide bar, or you could just type in your own number. I'm going to hit 25, hit enter. I'm going to label this 3D spin and select batch. That's going to save that batch. Come back to analysis and add a full screen. If there are any other images or something that you would like to save, each individual viewport has its own camera. Or the camera on the toolbar takes the entire screen. If you want to save an image, I'm going to select the camera. Now I'd like to export. I'm going to close out of cardiac analysis, come to my results section, highlight the two images I've taken, right click, select export. You will have a PAX destination predetermined under the destination file, and you will select export. And that is a demonstration of the cardiac analysis application on Vitria version 7.